Welcome to the Quick Start Guide for the Alberta Rapid Access Cloud. The first thing you want to do is access the RAC portal to sign up. You'll need a Google account in order to create your RAC account. Read and fill out the form and press Save. It will take a moment to create the account, and then you'll be able to log into the dashboard. The dashboard splits each of its components into a separate item on the left side, with the current region in the top right and an overview as the main portion. On the left side, you can see your current project, an overview of the usage of the project, and then separate sections to manage each of the components you can create, instances, volumes, images, along with the security section. We'll start with the access and security section to configure our security settings first, so we can access our instances. Our Linux instances use SSH key pairs to allow you to log in. At the moment, we have none created, so we need to create one by clicking Create Key Pair, give it a name, and downloading our private key onto our computer for use later. Security groups are like firewalls. We need to adjust our initial blank group with some useful rules, such as being able to ping our instance from anywhere, or with port 22, allowing ourselves to SSH into our instances. The next tab in our setup process is an item called floating IPs. Floating IPs are publicly accessible IPs that can be assigned to an instance, and we need one in order to access our instance. Back on the left side, the images and snapshot section show the OS images available. You can create your own, or use the ones provided. Going to the Instances section, click Launch Instance, where we can actually choose the OS to use. We can also take a look at the different flavors available that define the number of cores, RAM, and hard disk space to allocate to your instance. Then, name our instance, verify which key pair and security groups are selected, and click Launch. Within a couple moments, our instance is created. Once our instance is launched, we want to attach a floating IP address to our instance so we can access it. To access your instance, choose your preferred terminal application of choice. Set it up so you can use your SSH key, and then enter the username for whichever OS you chose and your floating IP address, and voila, you're in. If we want a couple commands, we can see we now have a full operating system up and running with root access. For a demo, we're going to install Apache 2 to show that what is on our server is up and running. We've set it to install, but our security group by default blocks port 80. So if we go ahead and add port 80 to our security group, and navigate our browser to our floating IP, we can see our instance is running and accessible.